Doing some French, right? All right. Hi, this is Jimmy Song and uh, Trace Mayer. Um, Trace Mayer is a legendary Bitcoin investor. He's invested in a ton of companies. Uh, Trace, how are you enjoying this conference? Uh, wonderful. We're in the city of lights, so uh, yeah, it's yeah. great. Yeah, yeah. Um, so what sort of security things uh, interest you and what sort of businesses do you think can come out of uh, a conference like this? Uh, yeah, so as far as the security that interests me, I thought one of the presentations at DEF CON that had to do with getting private keys off of hardware wallets was particularly fascinating since we don't have any like BIP, uh, what, what is it, FIPS 140 yeah, devices. Right. We don't really have any of those yet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I, I really like the Purism laptop mm -hmm. and then the GlacierProtocol.org mm -hmm. and of course Armory software. Mm -hmm. As far as businesses that come out of it, I think there's a huge opportunity in the space for uh, enterprise level security. Mm -hmm. uh, being able to provide security to like the Ledger X guys mm -hmm. or the CBOE mm -hmm. or uh, Grayscale with mm -hmm. the ETF, you know, sure. or, or even institutions or organizations. I think, you know, companies like Apple or Google or Facebook would want to hold their own keys. Mm -hmm. They don't want to have somebody else holding their keys. We even saw Siemens in the financial crisis put $6 billion in their own bank mm -hmm. and create their own bank because they didn't want to be subject to the banks and the bailouts and stuff like that. So big corporations being able to hold their own keys. And so along with that is key generation ceremonies, the software, the hardware, all that stuff. I think there's big opportunity there. Yeah. Um, and what do you think about uh, all the sort of controversy around 2X and all, all the sort of security things related to the controversies and scaling? Uh, yeah, so with scaling, I mean, we've got Bitcoin Cash, well, Bcash, Bitcoin Cash, whatever we want to call it. Uh, I I think that there's a potential uh, for a lot of people to lose a lot of money. You know, we, we take for granted the immutability of the blockchain. Mm -hmm. uh, but when you start dealing with these blockchains and you can have one that's immutable and one that's not, well, isn't that the problem we're trying to escape? We're trying to escape being able to do chargebacks on bank accounts or uh, on credit cards or things like that. And so, you know, they're, they're actually, you can plug it into an equation. You can figure out how much it costs to game the EDA in order to do like a, a 10 or 20 or 50 or 200 block reorg attack on Bitcoin Cash. And then you could, you know, set up so that you could do some type of OTC trading. That way you're able to stick somebody with the Bitcoin cash, but then take them back and also keep the Bitcoins. And I mean, you can figure out how much this is going to cost in terms of petahash. So then you can figure out opportunity cost uh, in terms of Bitcoins. And so, you know, then you can be, be, be doing the economic calculation to figure out what, what that cost of immutability and breaching that immutability is relative to the return. And so... You know, a lot of people just take for granted that, that these blockchains are immutable and maybe what needs to happen is there needs to be some type of large loss mm -hmm. by having a multi, you know, 100 or 200 block reorg happen on one of these larger blockchains in order to help everybody kind of understand the need for the security. Nothing focuses the mind quite like losing a lot of money, right? Like that really helps teach people and train people like you know we, we've learned from Mt. Gox and some of these exchanges failing the importance of holding your own private keys yeah. but the lesson that we haven't really learned yet is how important the immutability of the blockchain is yes. and so maybe we need to have you know a very large reorg attack happen in order for people to you know get more comfortable with with immutability and less comfortable when when there's a lack of that yeah, uh, certainly store of value is an amazing property. Anyway, um, thank you, Trace, for your time. Um, and this is for Bitcoin.fr. Yes.